let's now learn about reduction formula okay so many times we get an expression which we cannot easily integrate okay so the idea of a reduction formula is to relate a expression of this type okay i of n let us suppose it is a function of x comma n then the idea is to reduce this guy into i of n minus k okay which is what which is a function of x comma n minus k where your k is less than n okay let's just suppose that you want to integrate sine raised to power 6 x dx okay you do not have any standard formula that would allow you to integrate this expression okay so i am just going to assume this is your i of n and you know a relationship between i of n and i of n minus 2 okay so if you know how this and this are related then you would be reduce this guy into integration sine raised to power 4x dx right this is n minus 2 so for n is equal to 6 n minus 2 would be 4 okay so you would be able to reduce this guy into this and progressively you would also be able to reduce this guy into sine square x dx okay because this is also a i of n where n is equal to 4 and this is your i of n minus 2 okay 4 minus 2 is 2 and you can easily now integrate this guy right therefore if you go backwards you can essentially integrate sine raised to power 6 x dx okay so that's the concept of a reduction formula let's now try to find out a reduction formula for sine raised to power n x dx okay so I want to find a relationship between this is my i of n and I have to find out a relationship between i of n and i of n minus k okay this k I do not know I would find out this k just see how so this guy I can write it like this sine of n minus 1 x into sine of x dx okay now what I want to do is I want to integrate this guy by parts okay so this is your u and this is your v so what you have is this is equal to sine of n minus 1 x into integration of this which is going to be minus cos of x minus differentiation of this which is what which is n minus 1 sine raised to power n minus 2 x into cos x into integration of this which is minus cos x right dx so what you are essentially getting is you have this as equal to minus of sine raised to power n minus 1 x cos x plus n minus 1 since this is a constant I'll take it outside n minus 1 sine of n minus 2 x you have a cos x you have a cos x so essentially you have a cos square x I would write as 1 minus sin square x dx okay so what you are getting is I have this as it is plus n minus 1 integral sin of n minus 2x dx okay I have